Do you want to learn what musicians mean when they say intervals? We do that here. Hello, I'm Pete Martin. Thanks for watching. For more videos of fiddle, mandolin, improvisation, music theory, and other topics, subscribe to my channel and click like if you feel so inclined. Click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. There's a PDF file that goes with this video. To get this, go to my website, petemartin.info, click Videos, and scroll down to Music Theory for Fiddle, Mandolin, and Violin. Players interested in improvisation should check out two series I'm doing. Improv from Scratch is for non-jazz players who want to learn to improvise or want to improve their improvisation. Jazz players should check out the Barry Harris for Jazz Mandolin series. Find these by going to petemartin.info, click Videos, and scroll down. When musicians discuss things among themselves, they need terms to describe sounds. We will learn some of those terms in this video. I'm going to use terms the way I most often hear them discussed among folk and jazz musicians. Classical musicians often use slightly different terms and those will be shown as well. An interval is simply the musical distance between two notes. Let's use the G major scale for our examples in this video. See this with the note names and numbers in example one. When we describe musical distance between two notes, we will use the number system. You may want to review the number system and the major scale in video number two, as seen in the link above. The distance between the first note in the scale and the second note is called a second. In the key of G, the first note is G and the second note is A, so the distance between them is called a second. Classical musicians call this a major second. See this in example two. Second. The distance between the first note in the major scale and the third note is called a third. In the key of G, the first note is G and the third note is B, so the distance between them is called a third. Classical musicians call this a major third. See this in example three. Third. In the key of G major, the first note is G and the fourth note is C, so the distance between them is called a fourth. Classical musicians call this a perfect fourth. See this in example four. Fourth. In the key of G major, the first note is G and the fifth note is D, so the distance between them is called a fifth. Classical musicians call this a perfect fifth. See this in example five. Fifth. In the key of G, the first note is G and the sixth note is E, so the distance between them is called a sixth. Classical musicians call this a major sixth. See this in example six. Sixth. In the key of G major, the first note is G and the seventh note is F sharp. So the distance between them is called a seventh. Classical musicians call this a major seventh. 
See this in example 7. Seventh. In the key of G major, the first note is G and the eighth note is G. However, we don't call this distance between them an eighth. We instead call this an octave. Classical musicians call this a perfect octave. See this in example eight. Octave. The interval of a note to another note of the same pitch is called a unison. Classical musicians call this a perfect unison. See this in example 9. Unison. If you find the information in this video useful, I ask that you consider supporting my channel through my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash Pete Martin. For about the price of a cup of coffee, $3 a month, you support the making of videos, instruction articles, and transcriptions for fiddle, mandolin, and improvisation. Thank you for considering this. The intervals we have seen so far are between notes of the major scale. We need terms to describe the distances to non-scale notes as well. The distance from a note to another a half step higher is called a flatted second. Classical musicians call this a minor second. See this in example 10. Flatted second, minor second. <laughs> The distance between the first note in the major scale and the note a half step below the third is called a flatted third. Classical musicians call this a minor third. Because the same note is one half step higher than the second, it is sometimes called a sharp second, and classical musicians call that an augmented second. However, I hear flatted third or minor third used much more often. In the key of G, the first note is G, and the third note is either A sharp or B flat, same pitch. See this in example 11. Flatted third, minor third, sharp second, augmented second. <laughs> The distance between the first note in the major scale and the, the note a half step below the fifth note is called a flatted fifth. Jazz players also call this a tritone because the distance between the notes is three whole steps, so tri-tone. Classical musicians call this a diminished fifth. Because the same note is one half step higher than the fourth, it is sometimes called a sharp fourth, and classical musicians call that an augmented fourth. However, I hear the terms flatted fifth and tritone used much more often. In the key of G, the first note is G and the flatted fifth note is C sharp, D flat. See this in example 12. Flatted fifth, tritone, diminished fifth, sharp fourth, augmented fourth. <laughs> The distance between the first note in the scale and the note a half step above the fifth is called a sharp fifth. Classical musicians call this an augmented fifth. Because the same note is one half step lower than a sixth, it is sometimes called a flat sixth, and, and classical musicians call that a minor sixth. However, I hear the term sharp five, or sharp fifth, used much more often. In the key of G, the first note is G, and the, the, the other note is D sharp or E flat. See this in example 13. Sharp fifth, augmented fifth, flat sixth, minor sixth. <laughs> the, 
The distance between the first note in the major scale and the note a half step below the seventh note is called a flatted seventh. Classical musicians call this a minor seventh. Because it is that note is also a half step higher than the sixth, it is sometimes called a sharp sixth, which classical musicians call an augmented sixth. Once again, I hear the term flatted seventh or minor seventh used much more often. In the key of G, this first note is G, and the second note is F natural. See this in example 14. My website, petemartin.info, has videos, instruction articles, transcriptions, information about fiddle and mandolin lessons, plus 13 instruction books I've written for mandolin, fiddle, and improvising, one of which is Easy Music Theory for Fiddle and Mandolin. Be sure to check it out. There are larger intervals than these, but we will not take a look at them here. The last page of the PDF file has all the intervals we've talked about and their names. These terms can really help a player in their ability to communicate musical ideas to another player. So for serious musicians, I recommend at least some knowledge of these terms just for that purpose. If you have questions or suggestions, please use the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel Click the bell icon and click like if you feel so inclined. Also check out my website and Patreon page, the links to which are on screen and below. I'm Pete Martin. Thanks for watching.